Well, I take your point. I mean, the country's kaput and it's made disastrous decisions. And you can say the same for elsewhere in Her Majesty's Dominions. I mean, Canada is turning into a weird authoritarian state. So is Australia, at least parts of it, like Victoria and New Zealand, which has become basically Jacinda Ardern's prison colony uh, down there. The question is, where I suppose, is whether we've all jump the tracks because of constitutional monarchy or because we have uh, in the last two years perverted the system of government that constitutional monarchy is? Well, that, that sounds like an essay question that I, I might have to... Uh, you've taken me back to my university days, Mark, with that, with that question. Um, look, I think actually when you showed the clip of the Queen at the beginning again saying, you know, that it's sort of your duty to take this vaccine... You, uh, you reminded me of, of how annoyed I was with that with that comment. And I think Peter Hitchens said last night that at times she has been unduly political. I mean, her entire role is to be apolitical. But now and again, I think um, she has wandered into that territory, although I suspect it, it's obviously as usual people behind her. Um, I, I would love, for instance, this weekend to hear her issue a statement saying that what's happening to her subjects in Canada, namely that they are unable to travel, I believe, either in internally or externally, even even on a train, um, unless they have a vaccine, as utterly disgraceful. Um, that would be that would be something I would look forward to seeing this weekend. Of course, it would never happen. And and what I do, uh, I did have huge sympathy for her in what they did to Her Majesty on the the death of her husband and making her sit uh, away from her family um, at his funeral. I just thought that was so grotesque. It was a classic piece of COVID propaganda. And now that we know that, in fact, as she was made to do this, and as usual, no doubt, she felt it was utterly part of her duty, and I've no doubt never even complained about it, we know that they were partying like it was 1999 in Downing Street. In fact, I think it was specifically reported that they were drinking on the eve of his funeral. So it, it, it certainly shows the uh, the difference in behaviour and how dignified Her Majesty is compared to the um, the rats that we have in Downing Street.